Um, hey guys, it's me again, you know, your boy. Hashtag, um, part of the worst player squad. <laughs> Alright guys, um, in today's video is gonna be a pretty weird one, you know? I'm sorry, my voice is pretty weird because I legit, like, just woke up and got into a Team Rumble match to go and play. But, yeah. I'm gonna be talking about um, the situation. Now, if you guys remember, um, if you do remember it, by the way, I'm um, I'm not a Roblox YouTuber. I used to be though. So, yeah. So, if you guys remember, um, like when uh, what's what's his name again? Coral. Yeah. And he got banned from the Pals, which I never watched. Legit, like, never. I didn't really like watching the Roblox YouTubers that much. Except for Nicholas, which became, like, one of the worst um, YouTubers for Fortnite. But I'm only talking about Coral, who's, like... So they kicked him out, and, like, ever since then, um, there was no sign of him. And... Yeah, but like just recently, but if you guys don't know what the whole entire situation was, which I'm surprised you guys don't, is that um, Coral, like uh, some girl, some fangirl was like supporting him and he called it cringe and she was pretty, um, um, she, she was, she had like causes of depression and stuff like that. She was like, you know? And when he called her cringe, and when he called that cringe, and like that hurt her, and all of her, all of his fans, all of course fans were telling her to go and like harm herself or something like that, which is bad. And they kicked him out because he was supposed to be family friendly. He was supposed to be nice, but what he did right there was pretty like scummy. Um, but just recently, like, I'm, I'm pretty late to this, actually. Like, two weeks ago, I think. I'm not sure. Three, maybe. Um, Coral, well, he, like, posted some pictures, which I can't really show because I don't know how to edit that well, about a shotgun. And this is, like, very, very concerning for me, like, honestly. When I saw it, honestly, I just, like, I don't really know. I just like thought about first thing that comes up to anybody that posts a picture of them with a shotgun with absolutely no context. Like I mean, no context at all. That's pretty concerning. Like just just imagine somebody posting a picture of a shotgun that has been like hurt or something. That's like concerning. Now, I'm not only concerned for him because you never know he might have plans to harm himself, but I'm also concerned for the pals, which is his friend group. He knows where they live and stuff like that. Um, it's his friend group, and they, the pals were the one that kicked him out of the club. So if the, like, you know? The pals kicked him out of the club, so he might be, like, going to harm him. You never know. And uh, I'm very concerned for him, actually. Now, I hope he doesn't hurt anybody, and I hope he doesn't hurt himself, because that would just be very bad for him to do. Like, he could have just come back and said, oh, guys, I've changed, can you forgive me? But, like, he didn't. This man literally just took a picture of an entire shotgun, which is, like, very concerning. But yeah, that's technically the video of me just talking about the situation. If you watch this video, can you please subscribe? You know, help small content content creators. But yeah, um, that was technically it. Um, hope you enjoyed, and hope you guys are having an amazing day. And see you later.